Good morning Year 5. Today in our writing lesson we're going to be writing our introductory paragraph. But first of all we're going to look at two pieces of text, um, both introductory paragraphs and we're going to look at what we like about them, what we don't like about them, what grammatical features are in there, okay? And then after that we're going to write our introduction. Now yesterday we planned the structure of our newspaper report and we're going to use this today for help in helping us with our introduction. So in my introduction, my plan, what I put was who we're going to be talking about, we're going to be talking about bees, why they are important to us and the decline of honeybees in the UK. So I have written two pieces of writing here, both can be introductory paragraphs Okay, and I'm going to read them out to us. The first one. Amazingly, in the UK there has been a decrease in bee population. I think this is because of pesticides and farming. This is bad as bees are very important. They have lots of qualities like pollinating plants, making beeswax and honey and vibrant colours on their back. Okay, and the second one goes, there's a worrying buzz ar going around 100 Acre Wood and Winnie the Pooh isn't happy. He's just heard that his favourite food, honey, could be running out. Britain's honeybees are dying at an alarming rate. Throughout centuries, these invaluable insects have played an integral role in regulating our ecosystem. So why is it that they are on decline? Okay, what I would like you to do now is just pause the video here and I would like you to uh, annotate both of these texts on the document that I've sent out for your work, okay? So look at the grammatical features um, uh, and what you like and don't like about them, okay? Alright, so pause the video here. Now, a newspaper introduction or the report of the introduction should sum up what the story is going to be about, so what the article is going to be about, but it needs to be engaging, okay? Now, let's look at this, this introduction. Amazingly, in the UK, there has been a decrease in bee population. I think this is because of pesticides and farming. This is bad, as bees are very important. They have lots of qual qualities, like pollinating plants, making beeswax and honey, and vibrant colours on their back. Now, I've actually highlighted some some things that I like about it. So, for example, uh, in green, uh, there's an adverb at the start at the start of the sentence. So, amazingly, in the UK, there has been a decrease in bee population. Now, it's good to have an adverb there, but is that adverb a good adverb for that sen sentence? Is is the decrease in bee population amazing? It's not. I think that we could have a different adverb, okay? So you could start it off with, shockingly, in the UK, there has been a decrease in bee population, okay? Because that sentence is more shocking than it is amazing. Okay, in red, we actually have a bit of parenthesis, so that's good, okay? And blue is pesticides and farming, so that's our subject knowledge that we are getting in, in there, okay? However, a newspaper report shouldn't be written in the first person, okay? And here it says, I think this is because of, okay? That's the first person. So it needs to be written in the third person. I can also see that we haven't used the capital letter at the start of the, um, at the start of one of the sentences. They have lots of qualities like pollinating plants, okay? And in that sentence, we actually use, um, we list, qualities okay which is good however I don't think that um, a quality of being having vibrant colours on their backs is much use when we're linking it back to our heading our title and subheading okay right now let's move on to the next one so there's a worrying buzz going around 100 Acre Wood and Winnie the Pooh isn't happy. He's just heard that his favourite food, honey, could be running out. Britain's bumble honeybees are dying at an alarming rate. Throughout centuries, these invaluable insects have played an integral role in regulating our ecosystem. So why is it that they are on the decline? Now, I've got lots of things highlighted here, OK? And... First of all, I'm going to start with the purple, okay? Worrying buzz and alarming rate, okay? Both highlighted in purple. They both link to the emotions of the reader, okay? So 
the reader's going to think, oh, what's worrying about it? What is what is that? Why is, why is, it, in, why is it an alarming rate? OK. We also have a bit of parenthesis, okay, so uh, Winnie the Pooh's favourite food is honey and that's in between two dashes, okay, we have fronted adverbial in green, so th throughout centuries. In light blue, we actually have invaluable insects, now that is a alliteration, okay, and invaluable is a very technical word, okay, so that's, that's a, a good thing. A benefit of the, this um, sentence. Again, last of all, in blue and yellow, in dark blue, we have subject knowledge. Okay, so we have lots um, and uh, bees play an integral role in regulating our ecosystem. And last of all, in yellow, at the end, we have a rhetorical question. So to engage the reader and uh, think, can he answer? Will he be able to answer the question at the end of the uh, introduction? Okay. Now, your task is to write your introduction. Now, I'd like you to go and write that, okay? Make sure that you include the key grammatical features we've looked at, and don't forget to use your plan that you made yesterday to help you, okay?